Call me Taylor, founder of this club. You know what is the basic and most important rule of our club? Oh dear, I think I know what the reference is now. Yes, punch when you hate to punch, you do not talk about soap club. Okay, so let's take some <laughs> soap club. Hello reformers and welcome to Body of Evidence. Yes, this is going to be a little bit of a different style of game that you'll usually see on my channel, but it's one that I actually thought was going to be pretty amusing. So, let us start a new game. And be welcomed by the bloodiness. Yes, last thing I remembered when was my workmate thanking passengers of our train for traveling together. I didn't know what happened later. I was woken up by an incredibly annoying sound of a ringing phone. I felt an unsettling premonition. Alright, so yes, we are surrounded uh, by blood, as well as a rather... What are you looking at? Hey, what are you looking at? Get out of there. Alright, well anyway, <laughs> let us answer the phone. Hello there. I see that you got yourself in quite a situation, huh? Now believe me, you don't want to go outside like this. You will be visited by some nice gentlemen quite soon. I highly recommend that you listen to me so you don't get in trouble. First, you need to hide that body somewhere. I suggest using Mr. Bathtub. Alright, you do suggest that, huh? So let's get in here. This is obviously Mr. Bathtub. We only have 4 minutes and 20 seconds remaining. So I'm going to pick this guy up. And take him very slowly. You better, you better come over here. Come on now. I'm gonna drag him. I'm gonna drag him the old-fashioned way. Oh, you can tell I've done this before, can't you? Yes. Anyway, let's uh, chuck him in there. Get in there. Wait, his his legs aren't in. Uh, I know the uh, I know the phone is ringing, but still. Good. He looks comfortable, does he? Now you need to clean all this blood. You should find something helpful there. All right. So what am I? What am I finding? I should probably go into the kitchen, shouldn't I? Where's the kitchen? Oh, well, maybe I need to... Ah, hello there. You need to have a bucket in the inventory to clean. Oh, there's also this. Press tab to toggle between collected items. You can also use the mouse wheel or numeric buttons. Alright, so yeah, we have a broom slash mop thing. Gonna use it on the... Uh, <laughs> on the bath. <laughs> That's probably not a good idea, is it? Okay, I'm gonna use this instead. I think this is a little bit better to use. C could you just move your leg out of the way? Thank you very much. Okay, so yes, gonna use this on the floor. There we go. Now this guy, uh, yeah, I guess he's kind of comfortable now. I'm gonna close it. Can I not close the door? Close the door. There we go. All right. So we still got three minutes remaining. Do bear in mind that this game is not yet out. This is a preview of the beta version. And uh, everything is obviously not finished just yet. But you can see that the premise of it is to clean up the blood of a particular something and uh, get out of there, I guess. Now just close the door and hope for the best. All right, so have we, have we, you know, picked up every single speck of blood? I suppose so. Are you sure you're finished cleaning? Yep, I guess so. All right, so let's have a look. Blood cleaned, body hidden, and uh, that's it. Okay, fantastic. Alright, so now we can go to the next. As I didn't know what happened that day, I decided to hide temporarily. My high school friend took me in. One day he called me from work. His superior was in dire need of discreet help. Alright, so now we can take our equipment here, so a parachute, uh, probably not going to need that with, oh, body bag with built-in ballast, flashlight, and a lockpick. Um, yeah, I, I don't know what I need, but I'm going to, useful for, for detecting trace amounts of blood, uh, okay, I'm just going to take the broom and the brush and a lockpick, and hopefully that's, oh, I'm going to spend $78 here. I actually don't know whether... Hmm. Okay, I don't know whether I'm actually able to buy it, but yeah, it seems like I am. You don't have a lot of time. Better hurry up. Do it right and you get the money. Mr. Armstorn, would you happen to fail the job, you will pray the police catches you first. Any questions? Uh, what should I do with the bodies? What should I do with the unfortunate ones? Just get them out of sight. We'll get rid of them later. Any questions? No. 
Get on with it then. All right, so, and there's no blood around here. So I suppose, oh, hello. Okay, so get them out of sight. So where does, where does out of sight actually mean? Okay, so now I have double the amount of cleaning supplies. Okay, so maybe I should take him into the toilet. <laughs> uh, oh my. Okay, so I assume that there's going to be multiple bodies this time around. Ah, hello there. There's one, and there's the other one. Okay, well, I'm going to grab his leg. You better come with me, Sonny Jim. Yes. You're gonna come over here and don't don't get any blood on the floor, please. I ver I would very much appreciate it. Is he gonna listen to me? I don't know, but his leg is waving at me, so I suppose I should kind of understand what's going on here and just take him in my arms and ah, uh, he's an FBI guy, isn't he? He's an FBI CIA secret agent guy. I don't know. Well, that's not very good, is it? Okay, so get him out of. Oh, I I did say I was gonna take him into the toilet, didn't I? Oh, the toilet is actually over here. Oh, well, that's interesting. Okay, so I am making a bit of a mess. Come on, get get out of here. Yes, I am making a bit of a mess, so I'm going to have to clean up after myself, which is not exactly great. Okay, there we go. Let's lift him up a little bit. And uh, how am I going to close this door? I, uh, huh, I, I apparently have not thought this through. Oh, okay. That actually worked pretty nicely. All right, so shall I put the other guy in there as well? I mean, he's going to be lonely in the toilet by himself, isn't he? So I guess we should. Where is he? Where's the other guy? Oh, he's here. Yeah, it's time to it's time to stop being lazy. Get get up. Get up here. You know, you know what I wish? I wish I was a little bit stronger so I could just throw him over the bar. Do you think I can actually do that? Let, let me just let me just it. Nope. That did not work. Okay. Well, it seems like we're going to have to do this the old, the old fashioned way as he dangles in my grasp. Yes. Well, this can actually be done a little bit quicker by not picking up his body and instead dragging him by his... Whoa, he's a gymnast. He's apparently a gymnast. Oh, wow, that's... Oh, look at that. He's doing the splits and everything. I'm terribly sorry. We probably heard some bones break there. Or, at the very least, something. I mean, if this guy does not show up to have some kind of blunt force trauma because of... Well, I, uh, yeah, because of something. Not uh, Definitely not because of me. It was definitely because of his cause of death. Most likely. He wasn't shot or anything, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, let's let's put him... Yeah, there we go. Yeah, friends, friends forever. There we are. All right, so let's take this. Get this blood off. And we're going to need to get one of these. There we go. And there we go. And anything else? Did I, did I actually get blood anywhere? Ah, yes, I did get blood on this. Got to make sure there's not one speck of blood. It's nice that the broom or mop thing is actually pretty quick at getting rid of the stains because you don't want to be kind of staring at the blood for too long. And I think that's pretty cool. And just bear in mind that this game is still in development and it's going to be coming out on Steam in the second quarter of this year. And uh, yeah, if you want to check it out, there is actually a link in the description. Oh, there we go. Can't you? I've got to use the right tool for the job, obviously. Ah, uh, what is this? Ah, I bet they thought that I was going to miss this this one. And the guy was like, Oh, I'm going to get the blood on this so that that cleaner fellow can't see it. Yes, that's probably it. Oh, this is actually not going too badly. And I can assume that later levels are probably going to have some pretty difficult well, things that we have to do. In other words, we're going to have to use luminol and... Uh, Maybe a flashlight, and we're probably going to need to use those ballast body bags as well. So, have to get them off the boat, and, and you know, we're probably going to be on a boat, and we're going to have to throw bodies in the body bags and then throw them into the ocean or something along those lines. That's probably how it's going to go. All right, so let me just actually see here. Is there is, is there anything else that I need to do? Oh, there's two toilets here. I probably could have put them in there. Oh, well, never mind. Okay, so. Am I done? I think I'm kind of done, so I'm going to leave. And uh, let's just hope that there's no specks of blood remaining. Where's the exit? Oh, there, there is apparently many, many toilets in this establishment. Can I jump over this? Yes, I can. Alright, I assume that the exit is around here somewhere. Have I cleaned all the blood from... Ah, I haven't cleaned all the blood from here. I thought that might be the case. So it's probably best that I, yeah, oh, there we go, shine his head a little bit, there we go, alright, so we're done here. And, 
Oh, I could have put them in here. Ah, oh, silly. Ah, oh, I was very silly. Ah, oh, well, never mind. I suppose that's just how it is. And uh, this, this appears to be the exit. I am done cleaning. All right, let's take a look and see. Oh, what, what, what's actually going on here? Oh. Oh no, there's some... Ah. Oh, there's some blood. Pause on detection. No, I'm not going to pause on detection. We can actually see what's going on. Okay, so this is when the investigator... My favorite chair. What? I had to put the chair up? Are you serious? I had to pick up the chair and actually put it in the right position? You scoundrel. You absolute scoundrel. I can't believe it. Okay, well, never mind. Is, is, is he really going to find some more blood? Come on now. I thought that I actually did a pretty decent job of... Oh no, he's going to check all the toilets. Isn't he? Oh dear. I should have put it I should have put them in the the meat locker. Really? Really? I'm losing money for another chair? Ah, oh, well, I guess that's how it's supposed to be, you know. You you're supposed to basically recreate and indeed make the scene exactly as it used to be. And yeah, the, the guy is not going to check these. No, he's not going to check these, but he is going to go into that toilet, isn't he? Oh, he's not. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay. Well, we we got off a, a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of a, a leeway there. I was a bit worried that he might actually check every single room. But he didn't. All right. So, we got a detection penalty of minus 30, which is not great, but well, that is uh, that is to be expected, I suppose. I I really thought that I got all the blood. Oh well. All right, so on to the next level here. We have the Soap Club, and, uh, well, I think I've found my calling. Another person needed my help. The voice in the phone was rambling about some support groups. In the end, I understood that he wanted me to clean up a place. All right, so I'm not going to take any things this time around because we were able to find some supplies on the previous level, no problem at all. I do, however, have $300. So, maybe we're going to need something. Uh, I don't know. Should I just take a lockpick or something like that? I, I, I guess, just in case. Maybe there's something going on there. All right, so we already have the... Whoa, okay. Okay. Oh, hello. Who's that? He's alive. That guy's alive over there. Okay, so shall, shall I start cleaning up right now or... No, appar apparently not. Or sh should I? Doesn't seem like that's working, so I should probably talk to him first. Hi, man. I'm Narrator. We're glad that you're finally here. As you can see, we've got a little mess here. Colleagues exaggerated. The cultural fight turned to a battle. We need your help cleaning this. We are made to fight, not to clean. We are businessmen. You will receive a full payment for your work. Thanks for the information. Oh, these stains seem very dry. How do I clean them? Oh, dear. If you have trouble clearing the blood, you may find something that will make the job easier in the cupboard. Here, take the key. Alright. Mm, what should I do with the body? Body? He lives. Easy. Unless he gets up, just cover him with the mattress and it will be fine. Any more questions? Okay, so yeah, sure. That's fine. Let's do it. Alright, so where's the cupboard? Is it? Is this actually the cupboard? No, this is the bed. Whoops. Well, uh, okay. I, uh, kind of needed to clean that, sir. So if you wouldn't mind, just, uh, oh dear. Yes, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clean. Okay, so apparently I can't clean this stuff first because I actually need to go in the cupboard. There's the cupboard over here. Hello, you idiot. Really, okay, so let's, how do I open this? Can I... Can I not open it? Is it is this actually the cupboard? No. Th ah, this is the cupboard. Here we go. All right. So what's what is this? Haha! -ha, our best product, self-made. Take as much as you want. We have it in abundance. Who the hell are you? <laughs> Call me Taylor, founder of this club. You know what is the basic and most important rule of our club? Oh dear. I think I know what the reference is now. Yes. Punch when you hate to punch. You do not talk about soap club. Good. Now I remember to follow it. <laughs> uh, no, uh, who, uh, no, we know who he is. Oh, okay, yes. You do not talk about that. Yes, okay. So, I, is the timer still going down? No, it's not. Okay. I was here the whole time. Blind cleaner? 
What? Is this the same guy that was sitting on the on the couch? Okay, I'm done. Is he? Oh, he's doing a backflip. Are you serious? You're really, you're really. Okay, so let's take some <laughs> soap club. All right, so I now have the ability to clean this. Aha! I see. So there is a time limit to you know your 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 soapiness, shall we say? It sounds like I'm I'm calling some kind of royal 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 king, your know, soap king. You know, your soapiness, or whatever the case may be. All right, so let's just continue to do that. Okay, so I'm going to need to pick up some more. There's a lot of it, as you can see, so nothing really to worry about there. Am I going to really need to put the mattress on that guy? I mean, maybe. Okay, how do I... How am I going to clean this? Oh, there we go. Okay, ah, oh, that took a little bit longer. Okay, so... Yeah, as you can see, the game has actually been updated, by the way, so you can see now how long it's going to take for you to clean something. And if you use the right tool for the job, then you're going to clean a lot faster. This guy wants to punch me, doesn't he? It seems like he wants to punch me, but I'm doing I'm doing the job that he doesn't want to do. So if you could just not punch me right now, that would be great. All right, so let's let's turn this over. There we go. All right, and then let me let me just clean that. There we go. All right, so where do I take his his uh, non soapiness? I guess I take me by the hand and I'll lead you through. Oh, whoops, missed this one, didn't I? That's not very good. Okay, so I I'm a bit worried now that I have missed other places, so I might actually need. Uh, yes. Okay. Well, never mind. I think that's fine. So let's just take him over there. I'm going to take him by the head this time. Take me by the head, yes. That's what I'm doing. All right, so then if I can, what am I going to do? Am I just going to literally put him underneath a mattress? Are, are, are we serious with that? I guess. Okay, let's just put him let's put him down. Like th There we go. Oh, no, you've got the blood on it. Well, at least it's not dry blood. Okay, so now I can take this, I guess, and then we'll... There we go, and there we go. Okay, no one can see him. There we are, he's disappeared. Fantastic, see ya. I'm done. Alright, yeah, we're done. <laughs> Let's actually see if someone detects him. Oh, he's, oh look, he's moving! He's moving the mattress! He's dead, though! How is he supposed to move the mattress? That's, that's it. He moved it. The, the the dead body moved the mattress. You could see, look, it, it's still moving. Ah, uh, the boss won't be happy. I'm going to die soon. I'm going to end up underneath a mattress myself. That is not, that is not very good. All right, so I guess we'll just have to, I guess we'll just have to exit. Are we going to, are we going to be able to, yeah, okay. So I did fail, as you can see here, did absolutely fail. We can continue onward. I don't know whether I can actually go into the next one. I mean, this is technically a beta of the game. This is a preview of the game. So obviously I might be able to go on to the next round. You saw there though that the mattress had a life of its own. Maybe there was some kind of Edward Norton character, Tyler Durden, yes, coming and uh, moving the mattress. So that's not very good. Anyway, let's go on to the next one. You've seen obviously that level. Compassion is the basis of all morality was each side of the battle feeling sorry for the, with each side of the, yes okay feeling sorry for their club which was being constantly offended by the existence of the opposing team the feud resulted in an argument which took place at officially uh, at an unofficially rented local school gym right okay so i can technically take soap for free so should i take some soap for free i guess there we go. And luminol as well. We could take some luminol as well. Everything else. Uh, I can I can take a brush for free. And uh, I don't really need anything else, I suppose. A parachute. <laughs> Protects from falling. I can imagine where I'm, where I'm going to need that. All right. So I have the luminol. I have the brush. What the? 
friendly meeting my ass. Don't these kids have anything better to do? Like drugs? Yes, uh, don't do drugs, kids, but yes, if you're in a black and white world like this, you surely want some color in it, I guess. Anyway, well, there's, there, there is red as the color, I suppose, but anyway. I'm going to need to find a bucket. A bucket or something. Where am I gonna, where am I gonna put these kids? They're all dead. This is not good. Hmm. Oh, there's basketball. There's also football. A gymnastics thing and, uh, uh, I mean, can I open any of these doors? Yes. Oh. No, I'm certainly not done cleaning. Even though I can't do a worse job than I did last time. Okay, so how am I supposed to, wait a minute. Can I... No, that doesn't seem to work. I was... Ah, mattresses. Am I seriously going to need to cover them in mattresses again? Oh, dear. Okay, I'm not entirely sure I'm going to be able to do this. So bear with me. Oh, my. Okay, so how am I going <sighs> to... Are you serious? Come on. Come on, mattress. This mattress is not being cooperative, as you can blatantly see. There we go. All right, so that's what I want to do. And now what I'm going to try is I'm going to try and build some kind of fort. And that fort is going to be the way we do things. So, come with me, little Jimmy. Or whatever your name may be. And uh, we're going we're gonna to put him underneath the mattress here. And maybe, you know what? We've got so many mattresses, I should probably just make some kind of barrier. Shouldn't I? Because literally, there are so many bodies here that we are certainly going to need the extra space. So, let me let me just go through here. Come on. Yeah, there we go. There we go. All right. So, let's take this and I'm going to get that ready because I think we should probably be able to put this mattress there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make like a bit of a barrier. So, can can I actually can I actually do that? There we go. Okay. No, that's not what I wanted, but all right. Yeah. What about that? No. Ah. Okay. What about this? There we go. That's exactly what I planned. Very nice. Okay. So that's that's what that's what I'd want to do. Now let's see if I can actually make that happen with this one. I'm currently not doing a very ah. Uh, I'm not doing a very good job at the moment with it, as you can see. But maybe I can do it this way. There we go. Okay. Come on. No, I wanted it to be the other way around. There we go. Yes. Fantastic. Okay, good. Okay, now this is going to make things a little bit more difficult, isn't it? Uh, okay, I'm going to have to move this. Get out my way. I'm going to have to move this as well. Oh, this is, this is not going well. This is one of those times. Uh, this is one of those times that I, I wish for a lot of blood... And not not any bodies, or very very many bodies at least, because literally this is very difficult. Not entirely sure where I'm supposed to place them. Otherwise, I mean, I would have expected maybe us to be able to tip over the goals, perhaps, and then maybe we'd be able to, you know, hide them under there. But it seems like maybe that's not going to work. So come on, come on through, Slinky. There we go. And uh, we're going to try and get the rest of them. Wow, this is going to take me some time, isn't it? Well, the last 10 seconds are about to count down and, well, you can kind of see here that I haven't really been able to do too much. You can see that, uh, I kind of, I, wait a minute, I kind of need to leave, don't I? Oh, never mind. Yeah, I was not really going to expect to complete that anytime soon because you can see here that I basically just ran out of time. I was trying so much to try and get those mattresses in a decent enough place that it just didn't work. <laughs> it just didn't work at all, which was kind of a shame, really, because I did try quite a bit. But yeah, the next level is a graveyard. But I think we're going to leave that there. And if you want to check out Body of Evidence, there is a link in the description. I thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.